Let's start in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Efforts to contain the Ebola outbreak in Beni have suffered another setback. Increased rebel attacks have forced World Health Organization staff to suspend their work in the area. The Allied Democratic Forces, a Ugandan militant group, launched a rocket just meters away from an Ebola emergency treatment center. WHO staff were evacuated. It's not clear when the mission will resume its operations. The virus has killed more than 200 people since August. This week, during a joint operation against the ADF, seven UN peacekeepers and 12 Congolese soldiers were killed. Our sympathy goes out to the families of those who lost their loved ones in such a terrible circumstances. I would like the authorities and those in power to help us stay in our homes and not become refugees who are forced to flee due to insecurity. Well, let's get an update on the situation in the DRC with CGTN's Chris Okamringa, who is in Kinshasa for us. Uh, Patrick, um, are the government and peacekeepers working on a plan to make Benny safe again? Yes, Karen. Uh, what's happening is the Congolese government and UN peacekeepers are carrying out joint operations against rebels of the Allied Democratic Forces on the outskirts of Beni City and the surrounding areas where the Ebola outbreak has occurred. Previously, uh, the UN troops were just there to prevent the rebels from attacking the people, but now they're going after them. And that's the plan that they have launched uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, the rebels are also hitting back. So that's why we've had this latest attack that has uh, caused problems in the area. And uh, Chris, the unrest in Beni may cause displacement of people, and this could jeopardize screening of those infected with Ebola. Has the health department revealed plans to deal with this crisis? Yes, the health, the health department is first of all very concerned about the violence and has suspended all field activities and closed the emergency operations center. The Minister of Health, uh, Oli Ilunga, has uh, said he deplored the violence and uh, this is going to you know, bring a setback to the efforts they have made so far in uh, containing the Ebola outbreak. So for now, what they're doing is working closely with the government troops and the UN peacekeepers to ensure that there is, first of all, uh, safety, the security has been restored so that they can go and c conduct the, the tracking of uh, people suspected Ebola cases and bring the disease to an end. Okay, Chris, thank you for that update. That was CGTN's Chris Okamwenga there in Kinshasa in the DRC.